YouTube! How you guys doing today? It's Mike, Pratt Family Homestead. I got to thinking to myself, why don't we talk about how much it costs to process those pigs in 2017? Let's go talk about it. So many of you asked, how come we talked about how much it costs to raise those pigs, but we did not discuss how much it costs to butcher? Well, I got a bunch of reasons. One, most important that the, the series was on how much it costs to raise them. The price of butchering and everything is going to really vary from place to place. The one butcher in our location that we went to and we actually weren't very happy with, uh, last year we took a pig or two there, I, I mean 2016, it was half the price of this butcher. The butcher that we use almost exclusively now, we absolutely love. That's Jerome Country Market in Jerome, Michigan. Fantastic product. We've never had a problem with them and we love them. Uh, and they just won, so, there's a 2018 Michigan meat or meat convention here in Michigan lately, recently, and they just won a bunch of prizes for some of their products. So anyways, let's get down. We'll go ahead and talk about the numbers. Uh, we're not going to talk about the Mangalitsa because... We had the Mangalitsa butchered in a completely different way. We actually paid for two halves of a pig. Um, uh, we had some sausages and some other stuff kind of done with one half. We kept all the hams though, had pork chops and roast done with the other half kind of. So we did, we experimented with a bunch of different things. And so that cut sheet is just, that's two different cut sheets and all this. So we're going to focus on that Tamworth, all right? Uh, excuse that piece of paper towel. I've covered up my phone number. Uh, this is Jerome Country Market, custom butchering and processing at www.jeromecountrymarketllc.com. And I accidentally covered up their phone number. Um, but we are very happy. We love this place. They're about five, six, seven, eight minutes away from us. So let's get to talking about the Tamworth. You can see they even wrote Tamworth up there on top for us. Uh, we turned it in. We turned it in on uh, November fourth there and we have a hanging weight right there of 202 pounds now look at that that is that has a date of 1110 I don't know what that means exactly but the sheet also has 114 at the top and that's the day we dropped it off so we have a pretty quick turnaround with these guys about five days usually is what it is and you can see that we wanted our whole hog um, or this was for a whole hog. We wanted smoked pork chops, three quarters inch thick, two per package, fresh shoulder roast and three pound chunks. So you can see the dash on the smoked picnics and I'm trying to remember exactly how that gets all done. But um, instead of smoked picnics, it's all goes towards shoulder roast, which uh, our supermarket has the, the picnic roast and the butt roast. They just do it a little bit different and it took me a little getting used to to figure out what they were talking about. Uh, we, we do keep the ribs. We want our ham smoked and cut in half. Uh, bacon, fresh or smoked. Uh, this was the year that we said that I told them to leave the bacon fresh and whole. Give me the whole pork belly. I want to do it. We'd never gotten their hot sausage before, and now we only recommend getting their hot sausage. We love it. It's not it's not spicy. Uh, but So you can see we got, of all of our fresh pork, we got 25 of it in sausage link, or I'm sorry, in sausage, uh, one pound sausage packages. And we got 75% of it there on Lynx Mild. 75% of our fresh pork was Lynx. Uh, mild. You can get your, you, can, you have your choice of two of these options for all your fresh ground pork. You can get just fresh ground if you want. You can get patties. You can get um, whatever, but you can select two. You can't select a little bit of each one. Um, we elected to keep the liver. We elected to keep the heart. And we elected to have them save the fat. And then there's another note on the bottom that's kind of cut off, and it says, um, uh, to, to save the bacon uh, whole and fresh. So now, let's go on this side of it. Here's the butchering costs. 
Butchering for the pig is forty five dollars. That's um, that's basically their the unpleasant part, the the kill and the gut. Uh, getting it getting it to the hanging weight and hanging weights here include it being gutted skinned and uh, No head so that $45 is getting it to that point and Then we have cutting you can barely read this, but I've got it on a spreadsheet to show you as well uh, cutting at 202 pounds uh, At 45 cents a pound came to $90.90 Smoking, I can't read that. I think that's a 70 that we have in there. Yeah, it must be a 70 that we have in there. Um, uh, at 45, at 50 cents comes out to $35. So it's 50 cents per pound that they smoke. Um, patties, we didn't get any. Links are an extra 50 cents a pound. That's due to the casings. And so we had $10 for that. For a grand total of one hundred and eighty dollars and ninety cents all right so that's the cut sheet now let's look at some numbers now all right let's see how this goes okay so everybody might remember this from the last video the finances video um uh, the only difference is I didn't average the two Tamworth weights. I took this Tamworth's hanging weight of about 202 pounds, divided by the, the raising cost. The piglet cost us 125. The feed cost us 165. And the total of that was 290 divided by 202 pounds. It cost a dollar 44 to raise this pig. If we would have, if we would have butchered the pig at this point. That's dollar forty-four pork right there, a pound. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. And I honestly believe we could have done that cheaper by uh, doing some other different things. But, um, but we did have it butchered, and that's where this video is actually picking up. All right. I just went over the cut sheet, and this is what was on the cut sheet. All right. This is it right here. Um, uh, I won't go through it again, but this is a good visual for you right here if you want to look at that, all right? So our ending was $180.90 at the butcher. Okay, so here's the next, putting it together. The cost of raising it was $290. The cost of the butcher was a $180.90, which is the most we've paid at the butcher, but this is our biggest hanging weight we've ever had at the butcher as well. Um, for a grand total of $471 for that one pig to raise it, feed it, and pay to have it butchered. So what does that grand total come to? Are you ready to see it? Are you ready for the grand total? How much that is per pound of pork? You got a quick guess? I mean, some of you could be pretty quick here. And there you have it, folks. $2.33 per pound of pork based on the hanging weight. That's the only way I can really judge that. Based on the hanging weight, $2.33 per pound. Um, I, and that's that. That's where we are with that. And um, I got I got to say, we're pretty happy with it. So um, we can definitely reduce costs. We could do some things. And if we didn't, if we do the butchering this coming year, which I keep teasing that I'm going to do, then back to the original finance video, like I was saying, a dollar forty-four per pound of pork. All right, guys. So what did all that get us? On the back of this sheet from Jerome Country Market here, I have it wrote down as to what we got back. Uh, I wrote this down the day we had it laid out all across the table. Uh, which hopefully I can show you guys a picture that I'm sure we posted it on our Instagram or whatever. Uh, maybe I posted it in our Facebook group, Pratt Pack, Pratt Family Homestead Friends, or I posted it somewhere. So I'll try and find it and put it in here, the package of the, t uh, the picture of the table filled with meat. But so out of that butchering, uh, what we got, the basic cuts, I don't have like every single thing listed here, but we got 19 pounds of sausage links is what I found, but it said 20. So there was probably 20. Uh, we got six pounds of, uh, you know, logs of spicy sausages. Our hams were six 
6.88 pounds. These are half hams, all right? So a 6.88 pounds, 7.07 pounds, 8.27 pounds, and 7.58 pounds. And then uh, the pork belly on one side was 12 pounds. Mm, I'm not reading that writing. 12 point, we'll say 70 pounds and 10.74 pounds. So um, uh, that's, that's what we got. Um, oh, I didn't say the pork chops. We got 30 packages of pork chops with two pack, uh, two pork chops in each package. And we have them cut three quarters inch thick. So I hope all that made sense. Uh, I just wanted to run that through for you guys. And that was the main cuts. That does not include the fat that we got. Um, we probably got probably 10 pounds of fat, maybe. Somewhere in that area, I, I don't know, tell you the truth. Um, it's I think the Tamworth fat is still in the freezer. We haven't touched it yet. So that's that, guys. That is the cost of raising, uh, you know, getting the piglet, raising it, feeding it, and uh, then taking it to the butcher. So I hope this satisfied all you guys' curiosity. I know I should have given you guys the whole story. I know you guys love to hear our whole story, and I should have done that in the other video. So... Hopefully you enjoyed this. I think 2017 Pig Talk is done. And we are already have a 2018 plan. So you guys should be seeing some 2018 pig plan videos coming out soon. I can tell you this though. We are planning on not getting any pigs until after the conference in May. But like maybe right after the conference in May. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate you watching all these 2017 pig update videos. Thanks.